Carol's taking me to see his hives, which used to be full of bees. And as you can see, they're desolated. But like most keepers around here, his colony's been devastated. Uh, they were barely sort of keeping themselves uh, in life and limb. I found that most of them had died. There was one a handful of bees left in the, in the, the uh, hive at the end there, which had got a handful of bees in, a beautiful queen in the centre. It looked super. I thought, well, I can salvage those, but they were all dead. Now, there's some mystery about exactly why bees are dying, although mites like this one are likely culprits. At the moment, everybody's just firefighting. They really don't know what the problem is. Another mystery is why more bees are dying in Derbyshire. 60% have died in recent times compared to a national average of about 40 to 50%. As far as the reasons for Derbyshire being so, so bad on the face of it, I mean, it's pure speculation, but I believe it's, it, it is down to the bad weather. Bees don't like damp, cold weather. They don't like the varroa mites. The varroa mites are sucking the lifeblood out of our bees. But keepers want to point out it's not just a honey-producing cottage industry that's being affected. Bees are crucial to the pollination of crops. In China, they spend millions of pounds in one particular area hand-pollinating the pear crop. You can't do that here. It is far too labour-intensive and it's too expensive. Uh, without bees, you're going to lose a lot. Keepers want millions of pounds spent investigating the problem. The government is yet to agree. Brady Harron, East Midlands Today.